Waiting for it to launch and uh Hold on, there we are. Hey guys, it's Beth and welcome back to uh welcome back. We are back at it again for some more of our Game Girl Beth Game Boy uh extravaganza. Still going through Pokemon Green again today. Uh, this is going to be a continuation of our challenge where we do nothing but use grass types. So, uh, yeah. Let's just jump right in. I will say, uh, in between... I, I made a small mistake. Um, also, I forget if that's... I forget if Bullet Seed exists in this game. I think that may be Water Gun that I just picked up, not, not Bullet Seed. But I did make a slight mistake, and... I mean, technically getting the Magikarp was a mistake in and of itself, but we have to use that Magikarp as a Gyarados later for, for HMs and such. Th that is our, uh, our idea. Um, so, I completely forgot. There is actually an encounter that we get before going into Cerulean. Which requires me to go and buy Pokeballs, so I'm going to actually go and do that now. Because we can go and get a Paris, um, which is honestly a very fun and funky Pokemon. Uh, I have never seen the sprite for it, so maybe it's bad, maybe it's good. After Ekans yesterday, I have no idea what to expect. Um, and you may be wondering, Beth, how are we going to figure out which item is Pokeballs? Because you can't read Japanese, you don't know what item you're buying. Well, I assume that they haven't actually changed the prices of items in these games. So, I'm pretty sure if I am to just go and, uh see whatever is 200 poke dollars that should be our uh our pokeball stand-in that's using context clues right there so potions are 300 pokeballs are 200 so let's pick up um we probably won't need that many overall because we're only going to be able to pick up a couple pokemon in general um, and Paris is far from the best Pokemon in the world. I will be, uh, perfectly honest, and I need to admit that, that Paris is not the greatest Pokemon in the world. However, it's, a uh, it's a funny Pokemon that makes me happy, and I want to use them. And it's also one of the few Pokemon that I can actually use in this run, so, yeah. And I apologize in advance, uh, once again, anytime I tab out of, uh, the game in order to swap around my, my VTuber model, um, it does this thing where, uh, it pauses all of the sound, and there's nothing I can really do about that. Alright, in order to get Paris... We need to go down, down into the depths. I believe Paris can be found on this floor here. That is unfortunately, however, a Zubat, which is not what we need, okay. Just to make sure that I'm not wasting my time, I am actually going to pull up Mountain Moon um, and quickly see, um, Paris has a 5% chance in, uh, red and blue to be on the first floor, uh, 10% on basement floor 1, and 15% on basement floor 2. So we actually want to go as deep down as we can. Good to know. So now we have better odds of, um, getting a Paris. 
I believe that this item here is a moonstone. Which we will not need. Uh, since we're only using grass types. Okay, this may take a second, so... Yeah, it just, uh, hang on for a moment. Oh! Never mind! There's the Paris! Oh my gosh, and they're level 10! Wow, that's... <laughs> that's perfect! And also, like, wow, that was fast, first of all, and... Oh my gosh, the, the freaking level is so much. But, hey! We, we have a Paris now. We can just catch this and it'll be ours. Okay, I... D oh! I just realized something that's going to, like, seriously impact us later on. I don't know when things are crits or not. So we... I can't attack this anymore. Unless it may, like, go away. Which would suck. Also, I like this sprite. This sprite for it is pretty cool. Okay, is it this? No, it's not. It's this one. Okay, so that should be Pokeballs. Yep, sure is. I was right. Oh! And it just caught. One easy try. You know what? I, I have to do a traditional thing. Because me and Evan have a running bit with uh with paris i don't particularly like uh using uh google translate but this has to be den denmark so let's see if i can figure out the characters to make denmark all right um oh there's a lot shoot Okay, so... Uh... Oh, no. Uh... Okay, uh, it... Where is... This... That... And then... Uh, this, then we have, <sighs> this would be so much easier if I had my good friend Randy with us here right now, who actually knows Japanese. Uh, here's the issue is I don't know like which page this is going to be on. So, like, I, I'm just, like, scanning through, and I have to be, like, super, super aware. <sighs> One of the letters in here appears to just be a dash. Like, one singular dash. Which I'm assuming is that. Okay. Um... But I still need to find this. That's not it. That's not it. It is like one of these. Oh, there it is. Denmaku. So it should be. Now I need to find. Jeez, this is this is difficult, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so 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 sorry. Um. Frick, okay. Uh, cause not only am I deciphering a language that I do not know, I'm having to see what it is in 8 bits of pixel. That's not it. But it's close. Shoot. Okay, um... Like, th no, not that. It's not that. It's not that. It's closer. Is that it? Is that what? I guess it's that. Alright. This may be Denmark. But I'm not sure. It may be misspelled. 
but I did my best. Denmaku. Why are- okay, this is weird. Like, why... Why are, like, the Pokémon in this Mount Moon higher level than, like, in any future game? I guess it may have actually gotten, like... This is one of those things that may have actually been changed between releases. It could have been that that's, um... Uh, something that changed over time. I just realized my stream appears to... Oh! It was just lagging out. Okay, that that's what happened. Okay. I was worried because it wasn't showing up. Um, I don't know what it just hit me with. I'm just going to swap back out. Seemed to have been effective. We do need to head out of this cave and heal up. That's not what I wanted to do. This is a dangerous flippin' cave. And we've gotta fight everyone in it. I'm really not a fan of this Zubat. This Zubat, like... Its smug aura mocks me, and I don't like it. And usually I like Zubat, so that's a problem. Okay, so let us switch these two around. Alright, so we have Denmark, Cinnamon, and, um, whatever that character is, because I don't know what it is. I, I genuinely don't know. I know zero Japanese. Like, I may know a couple words spoken, but for characters, absolutely not. Nothing. So that's 35 PP. I'm assuming that that is Scratch. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna run from those. Not, not worth, not worth fighting. So, I don't think Paris learns much of anything by level up, um, which is a shame, but uh, I, I can check that right now. Paris Pokemon. going to use Leech Seed on this because it could use Minimize and stuff. So I, I know better. I do know better. Okay. So Gen 1, it learns Leech Life at 20, Spore at 27, Slash at 34, and Growth at 41. What does it learn when it evolves? <laughs> Oh no, okay, so it evolves at level 24. That's that's at least something. A relatively quick evolution. Um, it does not learn any grass-type moves by level up. It can only learn Mega Drain and Solar Beam. It can learn Dig, though. Interesting. Why is Dig's power 100? when listed right now. Hold on. Dig has a power of 100 in Generation 1. 
Why is that not still the case? I think all turn two turn moves should be as powerful as that. That's kind of wild. Like okay, I I guess our our this hermit crab of ours is going to be um uh <laughs> I suppose it's going to be a freaking like ground type attacker. I guess they're what is going to deal with freaking <laughs> They're they're what's gonna deal with Lieutenant Surge. Holy crap, alright. I mean a lot of Pokemon can learn dig. I'm surprised that Bulbasaur and Ivysaur can't learn dig. I am asleep right now, so that's fine. This is why we set up Leech Seed. Like, this is the exact reason I set up Leech Seed. Because I, I was expecting it. Um. Uh, future reference, because right now, right now nobody is in chat. Uh, for when this VOD gets uploaded, if anyone can tell me how to actually, like, uh, make it so that people can't post links in chat, that would be very, very helpful. Um, yeah. A and before anyone asks, like, if people see this in the future, I... It's not a big deal for me that people are not seeing this stuff live at the moment. Like, quite literally, th this is... Like, it, yeah, of course it's going to be disappointing, but at the same time, I have to, number one, get used to streaming. Number two, this is my second stream of all time. I don't expect many people to, to come around instantly. <laughs> it's just one of those things. Okay, I do need to go heal immediately because we did just have our Ivysaur uh, slept... So we need to, we need to get on out. Oh my gosh, why can you not run? You know what, at, at this point I'm going to do myself a favor. I, I don't like doing this, but I am going to enable speed up on my controller. That way we can just get through some of... Like, this cave faster, for instance, because we don't have to deal with every Zubat. We really don't. So, we are in an unfortunate spot, because at this current moment, uh, our only second... Like, our second Pokémon that we could have used that we are using doesn't learn anything. It, it doesn't even get, like, leech life or anything, so it kind of, uh... It's gonna suck. It's not gonna be fun. Oh my. Okay. Oh my gosh, Poison Sting did a lot to us. Jeez, and we didn't even do half with a scratch. That's a shame. This Paris is probably just going to need to get Switch trained. There's nothing else I can really do about it. Yeah. Oh, Kakuna. So, here comes... Kakuna getting, I mean, uh, Paris getting XP for itself. Okay, Kakuna. Oh, wait. This is fine. Um, hmm. I would prefer to use speed up as little as possible. Okay. 
so there are a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of trainers about. So, we can get a bunch of grinding in for our, um, our Paris. However, there's also a whole shit ton of Zubats, which, every step it seems. I guess this is revenge for us being able to make it through, um, Viridian Forest with, like, two encounters. Okay, that is a Sandshrew! We can deal with a Sandshrew quite easily. My instinct is still betraying me, because I always expect Pokémon to be somewhere else. And it's not... It's not there. There's our first level gained with Paris. Oh, and a level gained with, uh, with Ivysaur as well. It's a rat. I love Paris's cry. It's actually really nice. Uh, I, I actually also do want to look up quickly Ivysaur's learn set. Um... Since we are at a spot where, okay, it learns Poison Powder at 22, and Sleep Powder at 46. Huh. How interesting, huh? What? Okay, I mean, like, that's kind of dumb, but, like, I mean, I guess I don't have to worry about it then, huh? And I was going to use, like, I was going to use Poison Powder anyway, so I'm glad that it's the only option that I have. <laughs> oh yeah, this does also pose an issue of, I don't know what Pokemon they're going to send out against me. Interesting. Well... I don't want to deal with confusion, so I'm just going to swap out. Oh! We learned a move. What is this? Let's see what this move is. Oh! Stun Spore, right. That's actually pretty good! That's going to help us... Actually, that won't help us with encounters, because I- Wait, no, you can paralyze grass types in this game with that. That'll be perfectly fine. And that does make it so that we outspeed a lot of Pokémon, which is good because that's how you get crits. And that is something that most grass type Pokémon in this game are severely lacking. It is, uh... They're severely lacking in, uh... What's it called, um... Speed. They do not have a lot of speed. Okay. Oh my gosh. I should just know better. Oh my god. Let me run. Ugh. Frickin' Zubats. Okay. Alright. That's... Every step, it's another Zubat. Um... Which is a shame, because we also do need to, like, go and heal. I accidentally walked too far with the speed up button. Let me run. Oh my gosh. I ran too far. This is why I don't like using the speed up button for uh, Game Boy games. <laughs> 
So, let, let me do some quick rundowns right now. In terms of Grass-type Pokémon, we have the Venusaur line, Parasect line, uh, Weepin' Bell line, or rather, Victory Bell line, uh, Executor line, and Tangla. So that's... Hold on, I should have been counting. Bulbasaur, Paris, uh... Bellsprout, Execute, Tangela. Hold on, I need to quickly just check... Grass Pokémon. In terms of Grass Pokémon in Gen... No, not pure Grass Pokémon, I need all Grass Pokémon. Gen 1... Oof. Um. What? This list on Bulbapedia absolutely sucks. Holy crap. Okay, so. Yes. We only get one, two, three, four, five Pokemon. So. We're going to need one duplicate, and I'm going to say that, in my opinion, we should probably go for, uh, like, oh, I was gonna say we should go for Executor, two Executors, because, you know, Psychic type, I don't know if they learn anything good by level up. Shoot. Eggs, egg, you tor. Pokemon DB. We love, lo we love googling facts about Pokemon. Um, it learns Solar Beam. Okay, but that's as an execute. Hold on, let me quickly see. Gen one. It. Oh, shoot. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to get to, to get two executes up to level forty two and then evolve them, and then use them like that. That's just not gonna happen. They, they have to be given moves. I wonder, can I paralyze this? Sure can. I probably should have paid attention to the level before I did this. Oh well. But yeah, I think we, we have to allocate TMs very smartly. So, we're basically not going to use any TMs on, uh, when we get a Bellsprout, and we're not going to use it on our Bulbasaur. We need to use TMs on the Executor, which is going to carry us, and, um, we're going to put it on, like, one or two on the Paris, that way they can actually, like, use moves. Like, having Dig right now on Paris would be great, and I think that's what we're going to do. Because we do- I think we get infinite Dig TMs. It does seem like Paris is being able to do a bit of work on their own right now, which is very nice. I know that we haven't moved much in this episode, but, like, episode, this stream, wow. Uh, is that a potion? I probably, eh. Oh, it was a potion. I don't know what that was, though. That's something new. Alright, good to know. Like, part of me wants to just, like, go and run and, like, get more Pokemon. I want to go and get more encounters. But no, we, we actually have to use every single fight we have right now. Like, no joke. Oh, and of course, Tangela is actually going to be super good for us. Because with the combination of, like, Spore and Wrap, we're going to win. I 
Okay, we're only 10 levels of, off of evolving into a Parasect. And that, that does make me, like, think, you know, maybe I should just, like, you know, disable sound for a bit and just grind through some stuff here with the speed up button, but uh, not at the moment. We're not going to do that just yet. Now we need to do it. Oh, that didn't take that long. So, we have a very unfortunate circumstance of our rival is going to be super effing strong to us because they have a Pidgeotto in this next fight against them. And they have... Hmm. They have a Pidgeotto and a Charmeleon. Very bad for us, to, to say the very least. Um, actually, I think I'm going to need to do something incredibly stupid, but something that's going to pay off. I think I need to go and catch more Parises. I think that, like, genuinely, the one thing that's going to save us right now is just having more Pokémon. Or have... We either need to have over-leveled Pokémon, which is a good idea, or we have a lot of Pokémon. Yeah, because we can't get Oddish in Pokémon Green. That's just not something we can do. We're actually... No, Oddish is in red. Oddish is in red. Yeah, so... Should I catch more Parises? Honestly... My brain is saying I should have at least two. Because you know what? I, I, I'm going... Okay. I feel like... Even though it's not like... The most time effective thing... I think the best course of action... Is going to be... For us... To get two Parises... And to grind them up to being Parasects... Before we go into the rival battle think that is our best option. Oh my gosh, we can't take more than three steps, which I mean, that's fine, because we have gotten to a point where we outspeed and we one-shot these, so... Paris is getting, even if a small amount, they are getting more and more XP. I think what we should do, save game right here, um, let's, okay, let's put the Magikarp in the box because that's going to need to go to the daycare anyway. Uh, deposit. Okay, good. So, the Magikarp is in the box. What am I going to do now? I'm going to fill the rest of my team with Parises. Which, you may think, that's dumb as hell. Yes. Yes, it is. Here's the thing. Right now, there's... 
only really like one thing I can do. So let me uh, open the volume mixer that way you all do not have to hear the sounds of speed up. So we're just going to do ourselves a favor and uh, grind and get Paris's. That, that is the goal. Okay, that's a Geodude. Okay. We, we may need to heal. Okay, that's... Uh... This might be a dumb idea, but I'm... Okay, it was a dumb idea. Let's... <laughs> dumb idea did not work out. I was going to see if I could use that as a leech seed health pack, but no. The answer is I'm I'm not going to like grind everything up to level 20 immediately. That would be stupid and dumb. It would actually be kind of smart actually, but it would take forever and be time consuming since I won't be using pa nothing but Paris's the entire game. Like, that, that that should be a parent. A Paris. Um, the goal is quite literally just... I want to be able to be in a position where I can... Proceed smoothly with the game. And, like... Not really have to worry. So, I'm going to catch multiple Parises for this purpose. I'm also going to put this up here. Okay. I'm also going to save state because, like, there's really no purpose to... Okay, we don't need to name all of them. <laughs> we really don't. Those need to... Okay, I need to swap now. So we're only going to train up one Paris right now. I feel like that is 100% fair. We might seriously have a Parasect before we get through Mount Moon. Like at the rate we're going. But let, let's be for real. We, we kind of need as much help as we can get. So... Like, you, you have to consider, the next Pokemon that we can get to add to our team is going to be Bellsprout, which means that we can get Weepin Bell currently. We cannot evolve them to Victory Bell yet. What the fuck? I, did I just miss every move? Guess I did. Alright, well. You know what? How about I, um... How do I play some nice, some nice music? That should be good. It, it's Pokemon music and, uh, I, I just happen to have this, uh, so it's just going to be filling the background for a bit. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully the audio level is good. I noticed that my mic was a bit low in yesterday's stream when I was uploading the, the VODs. Um, hopefully it's better now. Yeah. Um, so I think for a while, like, even if Paris is not, like, the strongest Pokemon that we have, we have to fill out our team. Like, because realistically... The best thing that we can get next is going to be Weepin Bell. And that is after one of the hardest rival battles in the game. Like, that battle before Nugget Bridge is commonly, like, at least by me, that is, like, the second hardest fight in the entire game. Like, let's just be perfectly honest about it. And that's behind the, um... The Silphco, um, thing. Like, that, that is the one harder fight in this game, honestly. Um. So, we kind of just need to... We need to fill up our team 
That way we can actually make it through that fight. And then afterwards we can put in, like, weapon bells and stuff. Like, we can put the bell sprouts on the team because they are going to be better than, like, Paris's. But it's not going to be something that's, uh... It's not, like... It... This does have purpose. There is a reason for me to grind up and prepare for uh, this next area. Because we will not immediately have access to great Pokemon. So, it makes more sense. Uh, I'm, I'm only going to get two additional Parises, I think. I think... We get one more Paris to add to the team, um, and then we'll have three, and then we get everything up to level, like, uh, I think we get everything to evolve at that point. Okay, I think that's honestly the best option. Okay, so we now have all of our Parises. One at level 10, one at level 12. Uh, I mean, honestly, I should probably... At this rate, I should just grind up, and that would be the best option. I honestly have a feeling we'd have a better... We'd be getting more experience if we grind it outside than in the cave. So let me, let me see about that theory. These Spearows will have Peck, which would be a problem. 41, uh, honestly, that's basically the same amount, so uh, I'll, I'll deal with it. Because it, it makes it so I don't have to, to switch. I am holding this controller in the worst way possible, by the way. Right now, because my thumb is still destroyed, I am... Imagine Monster Hunter Claw, but with your middle and, uh, like, your middle and pointer finger. And, um, like, I'm using that on... My middle finger is on the trigger of this controller, and my my pointer finger is the one that's pressing the A button. Yeah, it's pretty bad, what I'm doing right now. Okay, level 20... That's four levels off of where I really want to be. Like, let, let's be for real. We need to get a Parasect. <laughs> Before anything else, we need this Pokemon to be useful. Okay, so we're getting like 40 to 50 experience. How many between levels? Um, 800... Okay, so it's about 1,000. 1,000 divided by 50. Okay, so that'd be 100 divided by 5. 20! So 20 fights, so we'd have to go through about 100 battles. Oh, jeez. 100 battles in order to, uh, to get this to level 24. Yikes. Alright, strap in, everyone. And then we swap over to the second Paris. Uh, and that gets switch trained. I'm out of PP. Hey, do I, I just got a new move. Is that leech life? I think it is. You know what? Having more than one move will be nice. That would be a leech life, like... Yeah, that's what that is. Okay. 
I mean, if we can keep getting these freaking Pidgeys that, that are giving 55, that's going to be really nice for us. But, yeah. Basically, any time we need to go and reset our moves, that's going to be another level. Alright, so... Oh, right, I need to continuously talk, that way this music doesn't potentially copyright strike my video. Um... Except I haven't really had that as an issue, knock on wood, uh, with Pokemon music. I've had it as an issue with, like, um, uh, like, the DuckTales game was really bad for that, unfortunately. Final Fantasy was atrocious for that, which is why, that is why I have not, um, I've never returned to Final Fantasy, because, uh, yeah, it's, it was not ideal. I, I wanted to- I seriously bought every single Final Fantasy, like, uh, pixel remaster. So that I could play them on my YouTube channel. Uh, hey guys, it's Beth. Um, which you should check out if you haven't already. Uh, and unfortunately, the battle music in that game is just like a copyright landmine. And unfortunately, that's most of the game, so... Yay! I will say, there is one nice thing about having these Parasects, or Parases, I guess, currently, and that is that, um, they will be super effective with, even if it's only with Leech Life, super effective to, uh, Psychic Types, which is the one type in this game that can honestly do anything to it, but once again, there's... Psychic types are kind of just overpowered and stupid. Okay, I still have a thousand EXP until uh, I can evolve, so I'm just going to put this up here. Let's reset those good old XP things. I mean, PP things, right. Uh, power points, not PP. You know. You know, it's fine. Imagine how strenuous this would be without a speed up button. It would be bad, but this is why we had the speed up button. It was invented for a reason. Oh! I sped up through that by mistake. But hey, we've got a Parasect now. Okay, so their high stat is 62 in attack, which that's pretty decent, considering Bug is, in fact, um, a physical type. So let, let's compare their stats. They're stronger than our Ivysaur. That's good. That's honestly what we want. Okay. So there we are. We're just going to put them in the back, and uh, I suppose we now switch back to... Um, just, yeah, we switch back to this, and I'm pretty content with, um, the progress that we have made, even if it hasn't been a lot of actual, like, game progress. We've got more Pokemon in our party. We have, like, at least two more usable Pokemon, which is great. Um... I don't know why, it seems like occasionally... The gifts in, um, in Streamlabs get stuck. I'm not sure why. I have no control over that. Sorry, guys. And now we have another Paris. In order to win, 
I am going to use... <laughs> I, I am genuinely... I think I have to get three Parasects. Um, but that's probably going to be... Like, I would like to get through Mount Moon today. Th that is the goal. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, because there is a lot of Mount Moon to get through. Okay, unless we crit, I don't think that we're going to knock out this turn. Also, I should probably go and get healing items. Like, let, let's... Let, let's be reasonable. Uh, I for sure messed that... Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, hey, a Clefairy. That would be cool, except for the fact I can't use it. Okay, we need to just run. Okay. We need to go and pick up some, some potions. Let's go and get potions, and then, uh, yeah. Okay, let's go in here. So we can get ten of these. Well, we could actually get 13, but, yeah. So, okay. Well, you know what? We have a whole bunch of TMs now. Let's, let's check how... Check what they do. Oh! I don't know what I just taught it. That was a mistake. Oh well. I think it was probably bind. <laughs> Regardless, I, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal, but we can see what it is. I think it's just bind, though. Uh... TM-12. Okay, so that is not compatible. So I think that is water gun. Let's see what this does. Oh, it's, um, it's Bide. Okay, that's a bad move. We don't actually want to use that at all. Oh my gosh, I can't run away. Oh my gosh. You know what? Screw it. I think what we actually need to do, we just need to accept the fact that we need to get a whole bunch of, um, we need to get a whole bunch of, uh, Parasects. That's what we need to do. So it's, uh, it's speed up time, everyone. We need to quite literally double this Paris's level. We need... Let's get at least two, I guess. Or... I guess that, that, that'll that just be today's stream, is just going to be grinding these up. Welcome to Paris Paradise. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
Hello? Oh, that, <laughs> that track is very short. I guess I probably should have, um... Probably should have, like, screened that. There we are. That's pleasant. What's funny is... I'm going to probably go and immediately after streaming... I'm probably going... After going and streaming Pokemon, I'm going to probably go and record Renegade Platinum. Which you can catch on my uh, full-time channel, which is... Hey guys, it's Beth on YouTube. Um... We have over a thousand videos for people to watch over on that channel. I believe the last time I checked it was a thousand and three hundred and some. Um, like roughly. So yeah. Uh, and those have been uh, two uploads Monday through Friday uh, for two years. So um, yeah, you should uh, go and check it out because it's uh, a lot of fun. And you can see the progression of me as a VTuber and as a content creator over the years. Uh, and I highly recommend checking it out. Um, we have been doing a Renegade Platinum Nuzlocke over there for quite a while. Um, I took a break from it because uh, my hands have been destroying me because of work. But I realized... Um, no matter what, I kind of need to to get stuff done, so it just makes more sense and it's more fun to focus less on work at this moment and focus more on content creation, because even though I only have 140 subs, which I am very thankful for, thank you to everyone who has subscribed, and thank you to everyone who's following. Um, the thing is, I have a much better chance of being able to make a career out of content creation than I do with uh, retail, and working retail is a uh, hell. Let me tell you, it's uh, not a great time. Uh, I don't wish retail on anyone. Okay. I'm actually going to do myself a favor, and I'm no longer going to... I'm actually going to do a quick thing. I'm going to quickly... Yeah, I, I've now swa I'm swapping over to using my keyboard, uh, which is going to probably be a bit better for my hands. You know, I should probably test if it's better to train in Mountain Moon or over there. So we're averaging around 45 down there. 45 XP. Let's see up here. Oh, this is way faster. Okay. We got 69 up here. Okay, yeah. Th th this was the better idea. My bad. It, it is just one of those things that ends up because we have to switch a couple times every now and again. Oh, there's another Paris. Do I? Nah. N no need. I think having three parasects will be enough. Probably. So I, I apologize if you hear the the clicky clack of key switches, but this is actually going to just be better for my hands than using a controller at the moment. It's also pretty much the same keyboard layout as Pokemon Uranium, which, if uh, 
you ever want to see me play Pokemon Uranium, then you can actually go and see. We have a full series over on my main channel. Um, and by full series, I mean I got all the way through Victory Road and then my hard drive died, so... Yeah. Isn't that cool? Sorry, sorry to spoil that, but I, I don't want you all to get invested into something where I can't promise that it's going to be entirely completed. Uh, I did my best um, with it, and I enjoyed it a lot, so... Yeah, check, check it out if you haven't. Oh, whoops. Uh, that's not it. That's what we need. I swear, I have way more fine-tuned control with the keyboard than I do with, um... than I do with, uh, my, my controller. I swear I can actually control it just by how many times I tap the key, the, like, the keyboard as opposed to just, like, normal. Like, I can control switching Pokemon and, like, using different moves. Like, fairly simply. It does take a second, but it doesn't, like, require fully stopping, like, the speed up like it would for other ones. Okay, I believe this is what I made select. Okay, no, that's select. Leech Life is act actually did decent damage to the Geo dude there. Okay, that's cool. I will be entirely honest, I'm still having a fantastic time. Even though I'm just doing nothing but sitting here and grinding, I'm having a, a fantastic time with this. I think that this is really fun, honestly. Because Gen 1 is just such a nostalgic generation of Pokemon for me. Like, I mean, obviously I didn't play it growing up because I was born way, way later than these games came out. But my first Pokemon games were uh, Pokemon Fire and Leaf Green, and they are the same game, only better. <laughs> and Pokemon Let's Go is also one of uh, my my favorites. Um, a lot of people, not the biggest fan of that game, surprisingly enough. I, I think that it's one of the best recent Pokemon games, in full honesty. Well, let me, um... Let me check this out, okay. How close are- okay. Well, I guess at the end of the day it doesn't really matter that much now that I think about it. It just- it, I'll level up when I level up. Exactly. And this basically means I can just lead with Ivysaur and then get a Venusaur by the next gym. <laughs> oh, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. I should leech life those. Basically a free health pack. Oh. Turns out I ran out of PP. My bad. No, it's interesting. Nurse Joy doesn't have, like, a unique sprite in this game, which I, I mean, I guess that does make sense because you don't want to waste, like, space that could be used for other things, obviously, on just one NPC. Uh, that makes sense, but, you know. Just, uh, just a thing. I wonder, 
Uh, should I play Scarlet and Violet on stream and like Legends Arceus and stuff? Because I don't know, I was not having the most fun playing those in a Let's Play format. Do you th do you all think that I would enjoy it a bit more with like just streaming casually? Um, it, let me know uh, your opinions like in the comments below since this is going to end up just being on YouTube since it doesn't look like anyone's here for the stream today. It is, in fact, like 1 p.m. on a Tuesday, so very low chances of uh, of people being able to just join in and uh, hang out, I will admit. that That is entirely just down to me streaming at a weird time. But hey. Oh, I accidentally forgot to... <laughs> I forgot to let you see... The evolution. Again. My bad. Let me just, uh... Hello? Okay. Well... Oh my gosh, I, I, the, these key buttons are uh, screwing me up. So we do, in fact, have two Parasects and an Ivysaur and a Paris. Um, that's pretty good. I, I, for a moment, just because this is a lower level Paris than what we had, I am actually going to grind up on these Pokemon out here. Uh, because we're going to be able to do more without dying. I stand incredibly corrected. I'll just switch train up here. Sure. <laughs> I stand wildly corrected in my terrible assertion that everything would be fine. I will say, starting two levels lower with this Paris has actually been incredibly difficult to handle. Just because we've been getting, like, a lot fewer, uh, like, it it's a lot more difficult to fight things. I think we really do need to start out down here until we're, like, level 15. Well, I got critted. I saw that. Okay. Okay. So... Oh my gosh. They're, they're doing, like, more than half of my HP in one move. This is bad. Unfortunately, the only place where I'm sort of safe to grind right now would be, like, the woods. So I guess I'll go and do that. Sure. Actually, no, that's way too far away. Fuck that. Oh my gosh. The, I, I think these have to be... Cr no, that's not a crit. That's just the fact that Spiro has Peck and it's four times effective to us. So I guess actually... Because Spearows are probably going to end up doing the most damage to us, I should just go into the cave. Uh, 
Okay, I cannot take on Geodudes with uh, this. I can only use Ivysaur with that. Which is funny, because, you know, this is a Grass-type only challenge, and yet, uh, right now, more than anything, we just have a bunch of bugs. <laughs> we have bugs and an Ivysaur. One of our bugs doesn't even have a bug-type move yet. And none of these are ever going to have grass-type moves, I don't think. Other than, like... Unless Solar Beam is a viable TM, because if it is, that's, like, the one thing that it can learn. If we can buy Solar Beam, it'll be fine. We do have the option of one, uh, good, um, TM. Grass TM. Which is Mega Drain, which you get from beating Erica. Um, the issue is I definitely want to save that for an Execute, because that's just going to be better overall. So yeah, we, we are not going to really get the most usage out of these Parasects, but I, I will use them for all that they are worth. Okay, I will admit, it is very difficult getting used to uh, the keyboard layout for this. Far more difficult than expected. And it is also straining my poor hands. Alright. How long has the stream been going on for? Just a bit over an hour. Okay, so we, we still have time. I think what I am going to do is I'll probably get these Paris, like all the Parises should be evolved, um, and then in our next stream I'll progress further and we'll be able to take on uh, our rival and stuff. I think we just we we needed to make a bit of a a, a quick grinding stop because realistically. It didn't dawn on me until basically today doing this that we are 100% going to need a lot of assistance uh, from from our Pokemon. Like, they, they are going to need to carry a lot of weight, and uh, it's going to be difficult for sure, but this is, uh, this is what we got. The one nice thing about having these Parises is the fact that we are going to be able to put Cut on them, uh, which is going to be really nice. That way we always have them. We always have that one HM on us, at least. Shoot, okay. I mean, I might as well take the experience there. Uh-oh. Hold on. Oh, that's bad. The game is, like, locked at a faster speed. Um. Uh-oh. I think we've just experienced a major crash. Okay. Luckily, it was just, uh... Just the emulator. Don't have to wait at- Don't have to worry at all, that's good. I was worried I'd have to, like, go and, uh, redo a whole bunch of grinding, which would really suck. 
would really suck. Oh, you know what? There is actually something I could do to make the game a bit easier on me, now that I think about it. A bit better, too. Shoot, okay, but that would take quite a while to get to. Uh, okay, I was just thinking about it. I think I might allow myself to use the missing no glitch so that I can have more more TMs. Because things learn so few moves in this game and we have such limited TM usage, I think that that would be fair. I 100% think if I hold on to Mega Drain long enough that I can get infinite TMs of it, I should be able to get infinite TMs of it. I think that that would be fair. It's a 60 power move. It's not going to be the end of the world, but, um, yeah. It, it would be nice to have on all of my Pokemon to actually have, like, a stab grass type move um, that, like, it could use. Like, it would suck to have all of these Parises and Parasects and Executes and Weepin' Bells with no, like, actual usable moves on them. I, I think that that would honestly... It is a... Like, of course it's a challenge, but I feel like that is 100% a fair caveat. I think I should be able to use that exploit, that way I can fix bad game design. Because, let's be entirely honest, the unfortunate truth is, this game, and a lot of early Pokemon games in general, uh, suffer from very poorly designed level up uh, learn sets. Like, we are entirely spoiled by the move sets that we get nowadays. Um, like, if you go and look at, like, Sandshrew's level up move set, it's atrocious. Like, it's actually terrible. And that is because, uh, Sandshrew was made in Gen 1, and, uh, they didn't really think about what moves they were adding to any given Pokemon. So, uh, I think for everyone's sanity and sake, it would be better for me to just have infinite Mega Drains when I have the opportunity. I, I think that that is 100% fair. It's not even like Mega Drain's that good of a move, it's just that we, we kinda need some way to attack with these Pokémon. Four levels away, and then we get another Parasect. <sighs> oh, you know what? I have Leech Seed now, so I, I can take these on without switching. Not Leech Seed, uh, Leech Life. Wrong type of Leech. I th you know what? I should probably use Leech Life on the Parises as well. Yeah, that makes sense. It does a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, I'm out of PP. Okay, that's fine. Whoopsie. Do, 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 do. Just 
Jeez. I should really be at level 22 by now, I would think. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm still not level 22. There we are. Oh, jeez, it does take a while to level up. Holy crap, okay, well. Ain't nothing I can do about that other than just keep on at it. Once again, this is quite literally the smartest thing I can do. Okay, I'm running out of PP. I need to go and heal it up real quick. Okay, we're at level 23. That's good. Oh, wow. The Parises give off a lot of XP now that I look at it. It seems like th the levels aren't scaling. I'm just, like, encountering higher level stuff now. It's kind of nice. And there's a lower level one. I don't know why Pokemon can't just scale levels in order to make difficulty, like, simple and streamlined, but, I mean, clearly there's more to it than just that. Like, obviously. Oh, I'm out of PP for that. All right. Oh, level 44. Here's the evolution. So now you will finally get to see the animation for Paris evolving. And now we officially have our three Parasects. All lovely and wonderful. So let's swap those two around. Ha! Huh. You can literally see the difference in stats between them. So this one, 62 in... Uh, 62 in attack is its strongest. This one... It, this one's just weak overall, actually, looking at it. <laughs> well... And this one is... Well, it, this one's more defensive. Interesting. Yeah, that's just the power of uh, different stats in Pokemon. So, we now have a team that is fully prepared to take on Mount Moon. And we are going to do that next time. So, I want to thank everyone for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like follow the Twitch channel to see this live, and uh, follow my main channel for all stuff coming in the future. So, th once again, thank you all, and uh, I hope to see you all next stream. Bye bye